probably the most remarkable thing in your in your filings that I thought was uh, many companies have had a dramatic fall off in China because of the uh, no COVID policy of the government. Whether you like it or not, it has hurt business. Somehow you were able to turn what I thought was a certain headwind into what actually looks like a tailwind in China. How is that possible? So, so, Jim, the team in China did a really good job. And, in fact, on our last earnings call in Q1, we said that because of the lockdowns in Shanghai, we thought that China would actually um, be a headwind in the second quarter. And the team really powered through it. And it was a combination of fundamentally what we do in terms of supporting, controlling air pollution, biotech drugs for the Chinese society, um, health care in general. Demand has been strong. And we also were able to support the COVID response efforts in China. We generated about $100 million of additional opportunity during the quarter to support the, effectively the testing regime that's gone on. And that combination of activities led to over 20 percent growth in the quarter. And uh, really, China continues to be uh, a strongly growing market for Thermo Fisher Scientific. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Cramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at CNBC.com or give us a call at 1 800 743 CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.